Okay. Now, you may recall that on the night Michael Irvin danced off against Louis Vito, Melissa Joan Hart was denied her chance to perform the salsa she prepared. We'll get to decide for yourself now if it would have been good enough to save her place in the competition. Please welcome back Melissa Joan Hart and Mark Ballas. <laughs> Cuban beat, I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go cheek, cheeky boom, cheek, cheeky boom. The senoritas, they sing, and when they swing the rumbero, it's very nice, so full of spice. And when they dance and they bring a happy ring, a carrero, singing a song all the day long. Way to go, Melissa. Nice <laughs> Back on the floor. You know, you have been, I think the audience has been up on their feet for you. Glad to see you back in the ballroom. You've been a longtime fan of this show. So what do you think of our three finalists? I think they're all fabulous. I think they all deserve to be there. And uh, it's going to be tough that only one has to win or can win. But I think it's going to be great. All right, guys. Great to see you out there on the dance floor again. <laughs> Still to come, it's the return of some of our most interesting interpreters of dance. Cloris Leachman, Jerry Springer, and Steve Wozniak. They'll go head to head with one of our semi-finalists when I put on my golf voice again in an all new dance marathon. Our finalists are taking their positions one last time for their final competitive dance for the judges. Then we'll factor in your votes from last night to determine our new champions. That competition is next live.